Moon Pang, you make my lunacy apparent, I guess. It's epic lunacy with this game. It's Moon Pang, and it sounds weird saying that out loud, the name of the game, but that's the name of the game, Moon Pang. And, or is it Moon Pong? I, I thought I said Pang, but anyways, the, apparently the background story uh, is also funny. I guess this is the week where the background story is funny. Is that the running theme? The moon is disgusted with the people of Earth and has moved away, or started to move away it seems, and just it's disgusted with the climate catastrophes that humans have caused um, on Earth. So it's a roguelike pong em up. Your task is to bring the moon back and it's trying to leave Earth's orbit. So there's all sorts of wacky power-ups. I couldn't even go into them all. I saw like pencil. I think there was a bacon bit. Um, there's drills, knives, ice blocks. So all these things like sort of attack the enemies in the center of the screen. And you're, you're the um, Pong paddle that uh, I think NASA worked on to bring back the moon and bounce the moon back, in, moon back into orbit. And your ball is the moon. Apparently, and I didn't wouldn't have known this unless like pretty much I read the backstory on the steam page because um, They just show you a newspaper that the moon's trying to run away, and you're trying to save it. So um, Yeah, so the nice thing is you can upgrade in the shop or wait for uh, Even better upgrades, and I feel like that's when the game starts to get interesting because the base game without the upgrades um, Just it's too tricky not as much fun um, and even the normal mode I felt like um, was too tricky for most people. Uh, the easy mode was fair enough with the extended paddle. So somewhere between easy and normal would be great for a difficulty. Maybe semi-easy, semi-normal, I don't know. But I just found normal was too hard and then easy in some parts were way too easy. So the game recommends using a controller and I tried using the controller and I found it really wasn't good for the pong paddle so I was really surprised by that so I tried using the mouse which I found it was much easier to sort of smoothly glide the paddle over with the controller it was just I'm gonna go here no I'm going here like it's too jerky with the uh, controller but with the mouse at least you can like gradually slide in and like say if the ball suddenly bounces off a few enemies you can slide over with the controller you didn't really have that it's like oh I overcompensated my controller killed me so that's what I my experience the controller killed me so many times and when I switched to the mouse I was like I can actually play this game this is great um, yeah so there's a bunch of enemies pretty creative enemies uh, the whole game has like an earthbound vibe I should have said that earlier with the psychedelic backgrounds um, there's mostly eyeballs, clouds, parts, blobs with spikes, like sort of random enemies. Um, once you get hand the contr controls, the game is quite fun. The upgrades really improve things, as I said. Um, the music has nice chip tunes that really fit the gameplay, which is surprising because gameplay is kind of quirky and, um, but it helps you get into the game. The game can quite get quite intense. It doesn't look that way at first, but when you have like a bunch of enemies and then the moon is bouncing off of one and then another, it's the moon sort of merges into the objects, which I'll touch into later. So it sort of gets hard to see things. Um, and yeah, it really feels like the style of Earthbound's boss fights. Um, and there's optional hats. I didn't try and put the hats on my moon. Maybe that would make it easier to see once things got chaotic. But this leads into my next point is the paddle's white and the ball's white and sometimes your ball morphs into another object and then suddenly you lose track of what your ball looks like. So like I was playing, I was expecting to have a white ball. Fair enough. And then it goes into a, a whole cluster of white enemies it's like okay now I can't see my ball then you're expecting your ball to still be a ball white ball it comes back with a drill on it and it's like when did that happen I didn't even see that so if there was like some sort of flash I don't know maybe a flash would be too distracting but some sort of way to show that your ball just morphed into something 
because it came back and I just lost the ball because I, I thought it was just an enemy, right? So that was kind of strange. Um, and like I touched on before, normal seems hard to me. Easel seems too easy. A difficulty between the two where the paddles extended, but um, and all this apparently I found out later it is able to you're able to adjust the speed of the, the ball and uh, the paddle so that would really make the game a lot easier but I think if there was a set difficulty where you didn't make the game too easy um, that would be better um, so there's a shame there's no multiplayer mode I think that's like where this game could really head like just have a sequel where oh they had to the moon tried to run away, but we we didn't succeed in getting it, so we sent out another moon paddle. Like, something like that. It doesn't even have to make sense, the story, as long as it works in the gameplay, I guess. Um, but yeah, this game would be a lot of fun to play online, is what I was thinking at the time, in an endless mode. Even an endless mode or something would be interesting. Um, moon Pang or Moon Pong, I think it was Moon Pang. It's quite imaginative and fun. It only costs $7.99, which is crazy for the entertainment value. Um, it's rather unique with its enemies and appearance. It really feels like a Nintendo game that managed to sneak its way onto Steam. It feels like a Game Boy Advance game from like, what, 10, 20 years ago? Um, that's only getting released now. It's a solid title. I would give it an 8 out of 10, since it feels like a throwback to the GBA Super NES game days where there were like a lot of quirky titles and um, it feels like WarioWare where developers you know focused on portable arcade gameplay and just they want you to have fun and this game sort of breathes that fun even though there's a few downsides with the you know the ball merging with um, the enemies and other things like that um, I would say definitely try it I think it's sort of a uh, a gem, a hidden gem on Steam. I don't think many people know about it. I didn't until I just one day started typing in Steam as I like to do and just found it randomly. So keep on enjoying the lunacy. Hopefully you can bring back the moon and uh, hopefully fight climate change and keep on gaming in the meantime. Ciao.